Rep Madison's. She's got so many tattoos and piercings that the toilet could barely hold her and it cracked in two. So we're going to take a look at it. Here it is, the damage. Today's video, how to replace a toilet. Step one, find a toilet that's inexpensive. Probably not that one. Hmm, this one looks good. Nice and cheap. Alright, we got the toilet seat. We got the top of the lid, we got caulk, we got the donut, we got the hose, and the bowl. Being a plumber and having a uh, Corvette's a little tough, so this is how we're going to be carrying this stuff. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do? Alright, so I need to remove this jagged piece of porcelain. Be very careful because it's sharp as hell, and if you cut yourself, you could die of necrotizing fasciitis. Ugh. Alright, so this thing. I removed two, two bolts around the bottom of it. Dispose of it properly. So we're going to throw it right in the garbage. Alright, now we got to take off the base. We could go ahead and take off the top first. But we could just leave it all in one piece. This has water in it, but it's trapped inside of there so it won't come out. And we can go ahead and pull that off. We shouldn't get any leakage. We have to remove this bolt and this bolt. I have channel locks and a pry bar in case we need it. So I'm just going to go ahead and loosen these bolts off on both sides. Once they're loose you can just spin them with your fingers. Alright, so we've, we've done hooked the bolts. Now this thing should just come right up. Bam, done. As you can see, oh it stinks like hell. Whew, that's one stinky hole. What do you think? It's Smell good? No. Okay, so you got to clean this area, make sure it's nice and clean. And then we're going to go ahead and get our other donut, put it on there, and then seal her up. And here's our wax donut that's going to go right down in that hole there. We're going to set that in there, and then we're going to drop the toilet on top of it. There she is, ready to go. Now we put the toilet on. All right, so this is our bowl. We're going to go ahead and put that thing in there. That's got to set right on the uh, wax donut. Here we go. Okay, so we got to match up these little bolts go right through there. I got that one, and I got that one. Okay, now we're going to smush it down, put some pressure on it. Alright, so we got our bowl set in there. Bam! Before I do any more work, I'm going to make sure we get a watertight seal. So I'm going to pour a bucket of water. Toilets work on gravity. This water should flush straight down in there and shouldn't leak out the sides. I haven't caulked it yet, so if there's any compromise to the seal or the donut, we'll know right now. Here we go. And that's exactly how a toilet's supposed to work. Okay, I've reattached the uh, bolts on both sides. Put a level on it, made sure it was nice and straight. And you want to have it 90 degrees to the wall, exactly. So next I'm going to go ahead and put on the uh, toilet seat. What we're going to do is take these, we're going to put them through here. It's going to go right through there and they attach underneath with this bolt right there. Alright, in order to get this open, you're going to get your screwdriver right in the side of that. And that's going to pop that open. And that way it exposes the area where you can uh, put your feed your bolt through to attach it to the toilet bowl. I'm going to put this right in there. I fed this through with the washer. Those two bolts there I'm going to attach on the bottom. Go ahead and put these two in there. And bam, done. And now we got to go underneath and screw these two little uh, plastic bolts on. It's nice and tight. And now I'm going to use the screwdriver on the other end. Alright, now I'm doing what is known as the sit test. See how it feels. It's rocking or anything. We seem to be pretty good. I feel pretty good. Look, I got my feet up. Everything's going good. We're going to put the tank on. So the tank itself is going to go in between these two rubber grommets. Then we're going to bolt that on. That's going to give us the clean seal. Then we put it through the hole, and then we're going to use this to attach it to the actual bowl itself. So I just have one rubber washer on this side. We're going to go ahead and push it right through. Okay, on the bottom of the, uh, of the water closet, we're going to push this rubber washer, it's going to be a seal. I'm going to put my hand in here, push this all the way up, then we're going to take a steel washer, put it on there, and then we're going to bolt it all down. With this. I'm going to grab my channel locks and my screwdriver and tighten it up really good. Alright, so we put this on where it's supposed to go now. And hopefully this will work better. I'm going to go ahead and drop it right down there, put these two bolts in there, and then tie them up, and we should be ready to go with the water closet.
I've got the water closet sitting on top of the uh, toilet bowl. These two bolts I'm going to have to go underneath here and attach them. And that will tighten it down and give us a nice seal. Alright, so we're going to put the handle in now. Got a plastic grommet and a plastic bolt. I'm going to hook it right on there. Okay, so I've attached the plastic uh, seal and the bolt. And that's the action on it. And we just got to hook that chain on. Leave this one on there because it worked and it wasn't leaking. I do have a new one, but I think it'll be easier. We're going to wrap this with this plumber's tape. Okay, I've turned on the water, filling her up, and we're going to give it our trial run, our test drive. Let's see if we got any leakies down here. So far, put my hand under here. I don't feel any water. I feel none in here. Nothing here. So far, so good. This is filling up. It doesn't have a ball in it. This is a little bit different. This is a newer style. We lift up our toilet. We look in here. It looks, it looks pretty good. You ready? Give me a countdown, Madison. Too long. Is it working? Yay! We have toilet. All right, the last thing we got to do is grout the very bottom of this, which I'm going to do now. I'll wipe the excess off after. All right, we have a new toilet. Looks pretty good. Hopefully there won't be any problems.